Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And tonight, we have a living legend in the building. You know who we have? We have Mr. Junior Reed in the building tonight. What's going on, Big Boss? Well, a lot of big things going on. Big album out in the street. Okay. Junior Reed, the living legend. Yes, of course. All my fans must go out and get that. That's a collector's item. Yeah. You don't want to miss that out of your catalog. You understand me? Junior Reed, the living legend. Well, we have um 19 tracks on the album 19 tracks yeah okay we have um nine nine collaboration who did you collaborate with on the album collaborate um my son young jr and yeah. sugar minor son blah minor okay and i also collab collab with my next son water blood i know water, water blood. blood yep right and then we collab with julian marley yep sizzler Big, big, Bojo big. Bantan, Vibes yeah. Cartel. Okay. It's big, a lot of colors. Right across the spectrum. Yeah, so check it out. And, and we got about um, nine tracks with just me alone. Yeah. You know, a lot of stuff. Yeah, same boat and all the songs that okay. where I come from. Yeah. Now is the time. You know, check out them songs. Definitely for I'll sure. I'm to read article fans after all those. The those living songs. legend. And who is not my fans, just check it out. Yeah. And discover something new you know it makes sense because i wanted to really take them right back to the beginning of mr junior reed how you even discovered that you had talent to sing and say you know what i want to be a reggae artist how do you discover your talent well just you know just buying the ghetto mm -hmm. you know hanging out with my friends and on just vibes in on the corner yeah the interest that they, the people show me mm -hmm. Let me know that I have something special. And okay. Let me know what, what I can do is not everybody can do it. Yeah, makes sense. So if you can do something with where everyone can do, mm -hmm. you can turn that into <clears throat> something special. Something special. Makes sense. And you were always singing or you were more DJing or what was the style that you were trying at well, first? First I was DJing and all them to them. Okay. DJ would go all a dance and them all bow me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Bobby and a man come here and say, yo, we, we wrong thing you do your DJ, sing if you sing, man, sing okay. if you sing. Yeah. And then we start singing from the start, sing same time we get Bobby, then we start mash up at the place. Yeah. <laughs> we back the fans same time. So I say, yeah. no, this is not normal. Yeah. Singing is where it sing, was. Yeah. yeah. And what was your original name back then? Well, my original name is Ju Little Junior Reed. Okay. We start, we, we, well, you know, we start out uh, you know the street from a corner uh, a yeah. shorty yeah okay you know shorty yeah. cause them to have shorty the president and yeah. them and then. but when we, when we meet up with you man they'll know mm -hmm. you marks my name to him say junior reed and him say that in my work with. yeah just like that yeah okay. so he say little junior reed yeah and they know me i work from a little bit Mm -hmm. To start get big, me have to take off the liquor. Yeah. <laughs> I said, Junior Reed. So, do you have any actual recordings with Little Junior Reed, or it's actually started? Yeah, from yeah, we have record with Little Junior Reed. Speak the truth, of Little Junior Reed. Okay, that's the one I think when you were thirteen. Yeah. Okay, I have to look that one there up. You know. Yeah, man, Little Junior. Reed. That was big there, and you know, this year makes it actually thirty years since One Blood came out. Yeah, 30 years, right. Yeah. Could you right. imagine that? Right. right. <laughs> Did you expect that song to really last so long and be as impactful as it's been? Well, I expect all of my songs for the rest of life because I sing life song. I, I, am, I am a creator. Yeah. God, the God, the God make us as creator, you know. Of course. So you have to be careful what you create. <laughs> you have to just create positive things, yeah. you know. Don't yeah. create evil things, you know what I'm saying? Makes sense. So I create one, I create one blood. In our art and I'm with a message and send it out there and the people them take on to it and that becomes a song where going as long as life lasts it's yeah. going to be always around yeah it's it's amazing because I know you have song after song after song but that song in particular it's like something when you recorded that song did you sit down and say you know what this is really the one that's gonna take no, me forever no no we just sing and just you know whatever come come yeah we never really uh, sing and I said this way, you know. All the song we, we sing, all the song and the sing, all the song I know that 
Yeah. This song going to be for the world and it's going to go places. Yeah. And even where one blood reach, you have a lot, of, lot more songs in the catalog that don't reach there. So yeah. But they still have the, the, the following and they have them article people yeah. who even love them songs the more than the, when they talk about songs, they don't talk about one blood, they yeah. talk about <laughs> some, <laughs> some real one away <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So you have all kind of yeah. fans, you know, because yeah. if you just make the one blood fans here, yeah, you have the one away fans. Yeah. Sometimes the one away fans, them are the real fans. Yeah, especially, I guess, when you go to like you. Europe and California, they want you to sing some songs that you almost don't even remember those songs sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you go up on the island and yeah, them yeah. some song where, where you yeah. rehearse and go to sing and say, this is where you go match with. That's not what they want to hear. Yeah. They already have a line up yeah. <laughs> And when they come and they don't hear that from themselves, yeah. man, you, never, you know? Yeah. In the, you never give them what they expect. Mm -hmm. No, it's amazing because even you, how long have you actually professionally been in the business now? I'm in the business now over. I'm in the business now over forty years. Over forty years. Yeah, I would say um, forty-two years. Forty-two, and I'll tell 42, you, forty-two, forty-three. So, so like I do four decades. Yeah, and some. Hmm? Yeah, four yeah. decades and some more. In three years. Listen, I'm forty-four, so then that means basically you've been singing since I was one. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And what's amazing about it is the fact that you could cross over so many different generations. Right. Because if you're going to be around for four decades, that means that's a lot of people that you... A lot of people because every 10 years are different. You understand. Different set of youth rise yeah. up. You understand. So then that's what actually kept you relevant where you started to cross over into the hip-hop. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What was your first hip hop um, collaboration that you actually did? First hip hop collaboration. All right. You have some guys in, in England called, named Raga Twins. Raga, okay. Yeah, I do a collab with them first. Mm -hmm. And I was doing tracks with collaboration with like Cold Cut and Soup Dragon. I'm free to do what yeah. I want. Yeah. And Soup Dragon. Yeah. Um, and co um, Cold Cut, stop this crazy thing. Soup Jagger, I'm free. Cold yeah. Cut, stop this crazy thing. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> we started in England and we take it in America now. God. And yeah. we link up with, with Guru. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. The, yeah, rest in peace mm -hmm. with, with the machine of the earth. Mm -hmm. And then after Guru now, <clears throat> we link up with. Link up with Buster and Buster Rhyme about the killer. Yes, yes. Change us like the way. Yes, yes. First, big, me and Buster. Big, big, me and Buster and Bounty Killer. Then we yeah. do Goro. Yeah. And after we do Goro, then we do Wu Tang Clan. Yes, yes. Now, all of these are classics. Yeah. Hip hop. Yeah, and after that, no, then it get crazy after that. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> wow, and I guess that's where the after was the game the mims and all of those came in after yeah, the fact right. yeah. yeah yeah no that's a lot of a lot of history right there and i know you also do a lot of production yeah J.I. production yeah what kind of um artists were you work with or that was more or less a sustain for yourself you work with artists such as dennis i've album with dennis brown yeah greg rise up album with mighty diamonds big oh, so hold on not singles albums, albums yeah which arm? Okay, so let's go back. Cause I need this history. So you have one with Gregory Isaacs? Yeah, Gregory Isaac album, Nothing Like This. Yeah. And Dennis Brown. No, Gre Dennis Brown album, Nothing Like This. Okay. The Gregory Isaac album, Not a One Man Thing. And mm -hmm. Big Youth, Higher Grounds. Yeah. Spanner Banner, No One Forever. Okay. Ninja Man, Pitness in Thing, Hardcore Killing. And um, who again? White Mice. Okay. Danger in your eyes. Yeah. And um wait, wait, so who? And with the Junior Read and the Bloods a compilation with me and artists like twelve songs, twelve collaboration, with me and different artists. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it, you know, plus okay. my album them, mm -hmm. one blood album, this to the vices and yeah. All of them album them. Because I know one blood was uh that was actually on your label. Yeah. Yeah. JR Productions. Yeah. Yeah. So even with Lincoln with Gregory Isaacs and Dennis Brown, because I know you're, they were bigger men for you at that time. There. Right, right. How did they actually trust you to produce an entire album? Not even a single, but an entire album. 
<laughs> because they rate my skill, they rate my art, you know? Yeah. And those albums is classic, big albums in the game of right now. Of course. Now. I even have an album with Yellow Man with all really come out yet and all them things. Have no, yeah. Yeah, album with Junior Cat, no for them, yeah. you know? Okay. And you still record a lot of stuff till this day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I don't really produce much um, in the production that deep. Mm -hmm. But I still produce myself and my youth, them and other artists. So, but right now, I'm coming out with a rhythm you know, named Jet Life. Yeah. So I, uh, I, may have, I may have some youth on the rhythm, some youth from another community. You know, some youth community we have rival against them one day that will start yeah. vice of the youth them in the community. Makes and sense. Put them out there, you yeah. understand me? Yeah. To show them that it's yes, better to way. work. <laughs> Let's work together instead of fighting against each other. Right, right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and especially when you say the community, are we talking about Waterhouse here? I'm talking about Waterhouse and up Red Hills Road, Kasha Park, Bainsbury. Yeah. yeah. Very, you know? Yeah. Bank, Golly Bank, Money Banks, mm -hmm. Park Lane, Come On. Yeah. 100, the whole yeah. play, the whole, whole, whole of Jamaica. Yeah. That's your, your in you Kingston. Know, the youth, them, yeah. yeah. You see, because a lot of people, especially when they reach your standard yeah. in the music business, yeah. they just leave the area. You know yeah. what I mean? They live somewhere where nobody sees them, nobody yeah. could get, you know what I mean? But you decided to go back and link with them. Yeah, we link in the, in the, in the, in the, in the dust with them. You know. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what probably keeps you so relevant because you have your hand. Yeah. yeah. In and, and them said, normally people that reach my status, mm -hmm. leave them and gone. Long that's time. what you say. But me, but me do it the other way around. Me come amongst them. Yeah. And them, so that they them have to look in at themselves and say, no, I will yeah. check myself for yeah. myself. You know? It makes sense. You know what I mean? It definitely makes a lot of sense. And that's why I wanted to ask you probably two more questions before I got you out of here. Yeah. Something with even when you, how did you come up with your style, your sound? Because nobody, and okay, you're the first and then few people after you started yeah. to sound like, how did you come up with that style of singing? When it just come naturally to me, you know. Mm -hmm. It just show you learn by learning from you, Mondel. Yeah. Dennis big, Brown. Big, big, big. The groups, them, you know, certain listening to certain artists, mm -hmm. you know. And we just we just get the sound, and we just always have the a vibes that we want a sound here. Yeah. It's just, you know just straight, sir. Mm -hmm. You just, just have some, some magic to it. Because <laughs> yeah. I feel if somebody like Tenna Saw and Nitty Gritty was still around, yeah. they would still be hot because of, especially if they had proper management or guidance or yeah. whatever the case is, yeah. because you guys' sounds are so unique. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of, all right, if you check in, you know, a lot of artists nowadays are coming up in the business. Yeah. They, they try to sound like Junery. Of course. They don't That's try, why I said first. They don't <laughs> try to sound like them don't try to sound like certain other other artists where yeah. that was even there before me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It makes them sense. They try to sing my style. Yeah. So I say, well, my style is not a normal style. No. It's a world style, mm -hmm. youth them style. Yeah. You know, more you, um, me as a man, I love Dennis Brown. I love Dennis Brown yes. style. Yes, yes. Me yes. not looking at Dennis Brown in a me. Okay. But yeah. more what they would them sing me. Yeah. <laughs> more <than> them sing. <laughs> but even that, that was probably like a big honor to produce somebody that you look up to. Right, right. Yeah. No, Dennis Brown is my you know, mm -hmm. my idol, you know. Yeah. He's the one that he produced, yeah. Yeah. When he's the one I remember wanting to come into music. When yeah. I hear Dennis Brown. Mm -hmm. I say, No, what's that the record? I'm saying, yo, I investigate about it and inquire and go more. Yeah. So we get into it. And that was it right there. I want to talk about your original group that, would you say you actually came out first as Little Junior Reed or it was Black Yuru? Little Junior Reed, then yeah. I come in the next group called Vice of Progress, then after Vice of Progress, then Black Yuru. Okay. Then Black Yuru, then we go back to Junior Reed. Okay, so voice, who was in Voice of Progress? Me, Junior Reed, um, um, Sam and Tracy and Terry, a guy named Terry. Okay. And did you guys actually put out albums? You just put an album on your minibus driver. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. And that was a hit album. Yeah. You know that album, right? No, I didn't know. I I, I can't minibus sit here. Minibus driver, and... be careful how you drive it with me. I know what you're talking about <laughs> now. Yes, <laughs> you know what I mean. That was like one of the like the early, early '80s. Early, yeah. Yes. Wrong there. That's one. Of, that's I think that's my first album. That was your first one. 
Because I guess, especially back then, it wasn't really singles. It was more or less albums and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that was that's that's amazing right there. Black Uru, how did that come around now? How did that group form? We have have a problem with, with the lead singer and then uh, we have a problem with the group. Yeah. Give me and and they, we all we all from the same area. Okay. And they approached me. Yeah. And I was just there for them because I not just for them, for them and the music. Yeah. So when something I get a a a, a, a tear apart. Yeah. Or I go down. The only, you know, the only way for it to survive, it have to be a fit in a way, you know. Makes it's sense. The fittest and the fittest and yeah. survive. So, first it was fit, have a fit. Yeah. And the album we will tell them to take it from there. You see the thing with, when you were in that group, your music sounded really big. It had like a big sound to it. When you yeah. listen, yeah. fit, you have to fit, it has a real big sound, if you understand. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, worldly yeah. sound to it. Yeah. Brutality is another one too, has a real yeah. huge sound to yeah. it. Yeah. Because of the, the engineer who we work with on this, uh, the production, mm, yeah, Steven Stanley, them on the Arthur yeah. Baker. Okay, and they're the one that really gave it that sound. So, yeah, understandable. You ever used to sing on any songs? All uh, the songs, man. You used to sing on songs? Yeah, man. I don't remember because uh, I used to collect a lot of cassettes. I don't remember. You used to sing on Black Over song, yeah. song wave, Eat yeah. wave. With Sprague Roots? Mellow Vibes. Yeah. In a Jamaica. Yeah. A King Jammy's youth promotion. Okay. Stereo Gav, Kilimanjaro, all of them so. Okay. But it wasn't your main thing. You'd, you'd pass by and come through, but you wouldn't really, that wasn't really your main thing was singing on songs. We will we do it for a while because singing on the sound system bring me out. Maybe oh. people know about me and then okay. I start record. Yeah. So sound system is the way that bring me through the business. It was a sound system. Learn something new because I know singers like Dennis Brown and those guys, they never really, that wasn't oh, their way. No, of, no, because they may come before me. We come after. Yeah. When the Monday have music playing at the dance, no, we are coming to the dance, we have yeah. vibes. And Got you. Bill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> from there. All right. What could, 2019, what could we see from, what could we expect from Mr. Junior Reed? Well, you can look out for the Junior Reed anthology. Mm -hmm. Junior, you know, compilation. Okay. It and um, <coughs> just look, look out for enough music. Yeah, that's really what it is. It's yeah. still going. Yeah, we're still yeah. relevant. Yeah. You know, right now I feel like I, I'm right now to a feeling of the business like yeah. we just start. You know, like an yeah. artist who just wanna break. Yeah. We just wanna look, <laughs> and come up. I wanna bust. Yeah. Hungry and anxious yeah. to get there. That's how you feel. That's how I feel. Right you now. know what? Especially with the streaming and all of these stuff, where so many stuff could be discovered and played differently mm -hmm. than just record, then you feel yes. You know what? Now I can jump in. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any big ups? Anybody you wanna say any last words before we get you out of here? No, not last word. Yeah. No, we just wanna just seal up yeah. interview with all of my people out there worldwide. All of the Junior Reed fans and who love Junior Reed and mm -hmm. so just know so well. I love and life favor more, you understand me? And know so we have to love yourself and yeah. praise to each other and know so well we are we are the gods and the goddess of the earth. You understand? And anything more I'm from God me, I'll get it from the people. Yeah. Cause from me know myself to know me ask God for things. I through the people if me get it, you know yeah. so God in the people. Yeah. So the man said we are gods and goddess. When I write a God in flesh, when I wrong a Satan, when I write a God is in flesh, when I wrong a Satan is. So big up all the gods and the goddess and who say, we are live and we are see God, because no people go and see God, because mm -hmm. they may look out of themselves. And yeah. when they ask God for something, and them brother, them sister, them friend can come give them, they never know, they get praise to Lucky, they never know, say, well, like God. So give thanks to the God and the goddess, you know, love to all the people in the world and they stay strong and who say, I love our life evermore. You know, love and life, forever more life, continue for life. For sure. You know. All right. Are you on any social media platforms or anything? Yeah, check me out on Real Junior Reed. Mm -hmm. Real Junior Reed Instagram, Junior Reed Facebook. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. For stage Big or man. anything, just yeah. link up that, you know? Yeah. Bossy, it's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you so and, very much. The email for GR Production yeah. is gr.production.jm yeah. at gmail.com. Yeah. Gr jr.productions.jm yeah. at gmail.com yeah. productions with a si all right Let's that's where they'll find everything with mr junior reed thank you so yeah. very much we can't wait to have you back in canada because i know on the weekend you just mashed up mississauga yeah, and the Mississauga. place we can't wait to have you yeah. back it's a saga yeah 
<laughs> so big up Mr. Junior Reed, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.